Hey everybody, Bobby Harding, First Presbyterian Church, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Today is Monday, July 17, 2023, and this is your Mid-Monday Mindset. So today your uh, Mid-Monday Mindset is going to come from Parker Palmer. This is a tiny, look at how thin this little cute little book is. Uh, it's called Let Your Life Speak by Parker Palmer. And in it, he writes about vocation. He writes from a Christian perspective about vocation. And incidentally, you can pick up this book on the resource table outside my office. There's a little stack of them there. In a very brief nutshell, Let Your Life Speak is about living your life from the inside out. And so before you intend to tell your life what you mean to do with it, you stop and listen to see what your life wants to do with you. Before you tell your life, you know, what truths and what values that you will live up to. Let your life tell you what truths you embody and what values you represent. I don't want to spoil anything, but when you hear life, think soul, think indwelling place of the Holy Spirit, things like that. Anyways, in one of the chapters of the book, he writes about uh, his struggle with clinical depression, having been through it a few times in his life. And if you want to read that, you'll have to get the little book and read it yourself. I'm not going to go into too much there. Um, but in the chapter, he talks about the people that would come alongside him and try to comfort him and try to encourage him and whatnot. He says that some of his most vivid memories of depression are connected to those visits that he would have from people. And so here it is. This is the mid-Monday mindset that I want to leave you with because we all know people um, and sometimes we are that person, but we all know people who are struggling in one way or another, dealing with pain, um, suffering. Uh, we know them. And so here, here's what he says. One of the hardest things we must do sometimes is to be present to another person's pain without trying to fix it. To simply stand respectfully at the edge of that person's mystery and misery. Standing there, we feel useless and powerless, which is exactly how a depressed person feels. And our unconscious need as Job's comforters is to reassure ourselves that we are not like the sad soul before us. And Parker Palmer connects this idea to the love of God, the love that we experience from God and the love that God places in us uh, to access and to share with other people. It is a love in which we represent God's love to a suffering person, a God who does not fix us, but gives us strength by suffering with us. By standing respectfully and faithfully at the borders of another's solitude, we may mediate the love, of, the love of God to a person who needs something deeper than any, any human being can give. That's it. That's your mid-Monday mindset. Who is it in your life uh, that you can draw near to, to stand on the borders of their suffering and possibly mediate that kind of love? Not trying to fix it. Hmm. Lots to think about. Grace and peace, everybody. We'll see you next time.